Today we're going to see what's in the box for the bench mount electric chainsaw sharpener. Uh, this is a Princess Auto version. I think it's a power fist and uh, we'll take everything out see what's in there. So from the box we have from the left this is the, the grinding or the grinding wheel and the motor and this is the base. These will attach to each other and I'll show you how that works shortly. This is the the base of the plate where the chain is going to ride and we have some handles and knobs that we're going to use to connect these two and that's everything the wheels are here the grinding discs there's three different sizes and i'll look mine up i think i'm using a 316th on the chain that i'm going to be using for the most part and yeah we'll go from there we're going to uh unpack what we have here and uh put all this stuff together so just to make it look nice um i basically took a measurement so here's the the middle of my little workbench that is now going to be my chain sharpening table and there's little ridges right here so this is important that when you do go to install this one this is just going to be about ballpark ish there's my center is right there and so that's backed up nice and tight against the edge of my board and i'm just going to put a little mark where I'm going to drill so I can install some bolts here and uh, go from there. I didn't get muted. So I got a 5 sixteenths, uh, I think it was three, 3 inches in length, I believe. I'm not sure, maybe three and a half, I forget. And uh, Basically, just a couple of round washers on the bottom side of this little board here, and uh, just a little lock washer and nut on the top. And I'll just tighten these up, and you can see that it's nice and tight to the board there, so uh, it should be nice, nice and stable. And we'll keep going. So, the reason I put these nuts on the top, lock washer nut, uh, is two reasons. One, it's easier to get at, obviously, instead of having it down the bottom. But the main reason is just so I can keep an eye on how tight these are um, so that when I'm using the grinder I'll be able to kind of keep an eye on the tightness. So I have this bolt and it's going to fit in here. I'll just slide it through. Okay and it's going to be in there like that. Now there's a little edge, a little lip right here, a little nub I guess, and that is going to fit into this hole right here and this bolt I'll pass through here and I will tighten it with this knob here. Okay, so that's what's gonna happen. So this is gonna go in there, from the bolt through there, there. Tighten it up. This is the handle. It just goes in there. It's going to allow you to guide the grinder down, and the wheel go, or sorry, the grinder will put on next. So there were three discs. Um, I just checked the specs on my saw. It's, my chain is 3 16 so that's this guy. So we'll pull these off and this, and we'll insert this guy in here. So this outer flange, I just took that off, and I basically will put the grinding wheel, grinding wheel here, bring it up, and that will go in there nice and tight. So I'll just tighten it back up and put on the guard. We'll go from there. So when we're putting this back on, you want to make sure that it's tight, but you don't want to have it too tight, as you may damage the uh, the disc. So it's, again, I think that's just a feel. And now we're gonna check it out. It's working perfect. 